Every couple of months, I give Home Depot a try through the Spark app. I, I, went, I drove to the Copag Home Depot. I was already in Massapequa. It's before the traffic. I get there. The cashier tells me that one order was canceled. Okay. So I take the other order. I got out of the way. I communicate with Spark in the app. They can't just cancel that one order. They're telling me to. And I could show you the long, lengthy conversation of the text. But the first rep, customer service representative, tried their best. And then it finally came down to cancel the whole, oh, the whole order. And I said, well, the reason why I took this order, it was a $22.95 payout and the drop-offs were Americ. Well, I live in Freeport. It was logical. I was already in Massapequa. Copeg, this Home Depot's not far. If you're familiar with Long Island, it's just not, it, it was worth my time. I felt it was worth my time. I, I mean, I just got so annoyed. And I'm like, well, are you gonna pay me or are you gonna pay me, you know, $2.45? Because I, I was just so irritated. So they gave me almost um, 10 bucks. It was like nine and change. But still, I would rather picked up both orders and they didn't, they didn't have it in stock. That's, that's what it was. So he said that it was canceled. The Home Depot cashier person. So, you know, I try every two to three months, I give Home Depot another try through the Spark app. If you've been watching me since the beginning of me using it, joining Spark, there's always a problem with Home Depot. I wish there wasn't because there's a lot of opportunity to earn income. Some people, when I follow the groups, they say, you know, it's, well, they probably live in different areas, different states, and they say they're, they're great pickup and drop offs, but not where I am. I've tried, you know, near my home, Home Depot's, oh, the one in Levittown, I won't even accept it anymore. There's always an issue. And whether it's product not in stock, it wasn't picked yet, come back an hour from now, customer canceled, you know, whether it be on customer canceled in the app or customer canceled at Home Depot, like through Home Depot, they have to get it together. And I've said it so many times. I wish I could take orders from Home Depot, but it seems like it's never going to be fixed. It's too much aggravation, too much, too much energy draining just to earn a buck. So I did complete a delivered delivery today. And afterwards, I accepted a Spark pickup, paid 20 bucks, two drop-offs, nice and easy. I was in Massapequa Park. I saw this order, $22.95, drop-offs, one in Belmont, one in Merrick. I was like, I'll get paid to drive home. It would have been worth it for almost $23. Nine and change, was it worth all my aggravation? No, all the aggravation? No, not at all. So maybe I'll try again a few months from now, but I won't be accepting any Home Depots for a while again, again, again. Let me discuss shipped. I wish I had more time, but I'm just, I have to, I have things to do when I get home. I would have loved to take in this today. This order was on the app yesterday for the same pickup time five to six same address rockville center drop off king store in garden city i just have something going on and i i can't take it i would drive there but you see how it says drop off early okay this one would qualify for the bonus now yesterday when i got closer to the start window of the drop off time that turned into a promo. So I'm really analyzing the app. It's just, I know there will come a week, at least a few weeks before the holidays, that I'll be out all day making some killer money 
So, I wanted to share this. I am so tempted, but then it will throw my whole day off. And I would rather just go out for a few hours tomorrow and work before the plans that I have. So, this is tempting. Oh, my gosh. It's so tempting. It's so real. This is real. Real time. But Kings is up there. Damn it. Same address. Oh, oh the whole point of the whole point of telling is you that this. they need shoppers in my area shipped. That auto is the same order from yesterday. And I was already home because I have things to do. I've been working just half the day. That's all I can do right now. So they need they need shoppers in this area. At least I'm familiarizing myself with the app, seeing how it works. There's no promo there that would qualify for a bonus. If I had left when I saw that offer five minutes ago and got into the store, I could have delivered that on time. Now that shopping trip would have qualified as, you know, one shop for the bonus. And they're giving a $20 bonus for four or five deliveries within a certain, you know, day range. <sighs> I guess next week it'll be meant to be. I know I'm going to work Sunday and it's a three day weekend and I really want to push it and have a power play day, at least one day. Shipped needs shoppers in this area or well, that order would have been taken already and fulfilled and it wasn't. So I'm really dissecting, analyzing, and I know what's going on. So I guess when the busy time comes, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, the other holidays in between, I'm just thinking of those two, it should be slam dunking November and December. I'm just getting ready. I took a look at the offer, five minutes to the start of the drop-off time, 5 p.m. Drop-off between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. And the payout went up to $25.37. The closer you get to the start of the drop-off window, the more money you can earn when it comes to shift. Witnessing the downfall of businesses. Now, I've witnessed, I've been witnessing it for a long time. And in the past two years, it has gotten worse. And I couldn't, I can't blame the customer. I picked up at a Baskin and Robbins. Now, for a long time, Baskin and Robbins and Dunkin' Donuts worked great together. But what it's coming down to is hiring people who care and hiring people who are tra trainable to not be nervous when they're doing their job and to hire people that can read a dupe. And it was about 7.30, I'm home now. So it's not that late. And it wasn't like it was for donuts, it was for ice cream, excuse me. I was very nice to the woman. I walked in and she was like, oh, she was very nervous. And I was like, well, you have to do it to learn it. I don't think she understood me. The young kid was taking care of someone else, but also assisting her before every step. She had to bring the dupe over. She, ha she had to be told what it is. These were two banana splits. And she went back. She put the three huge scoops, scoops of strawberry ice cream in it. And I'm looking at the order. Where's the banana? No banana. And no hot fudge. One wanted nuts. The other one wanted manichino cherries on top. She just covered the whole thing with whipped cream. The strawberry, the whipped cream, and a touch of the manichino cherries on both. Both orders where one order wasn't made correctly and the other order and both of them were missing items. So I, I go up and the customer left and the woman needs assistance. Every move. She filled up the ice cream. She had to go to the kid. 
He had to tell her what to do. She put whipped cream on it. She went back to the kid. He told her to wrap it up. So, I, I, I usually don't question. I walk up. I said, you know, because I watched her make it. And I, she was really trying. She's, you know, probably my age or older, struggling. She needs money. She's trying to learn a job. But if you're not trained properly and you can't read English, you can't read the dupe. If it could come out in Spanish, maybe she'll have a better chance to produce the product that was ordered. I said to the kid, I was like, you know, she didn't put any hot fudge on those. And he goes, well, we don't have any. Did I ask about the bananas? Nope. I said, okay. I said, oh, okay. He goes, how long you been working Uber Eats? I said, I was one of the first in Nassau County. When it came out to Nassau County, I was one of the first people to work it in Nassau County. He was like, oh, he wasn't happy. Then he started babbling about himself. I was like, whatever. And I watched him wrap it up. So I deliver it. The man, I hand, I hand over the bag. It was two banana splits, very light bag. He looks at me when I handed over the bag. I said, sir, I'm just going to tell you what happened. I watched her make it. You have fresh strawberry ice cream. That's for sure. A lot of whipped cream and a little bit of manichino cherries. He goes, but I didn't want that on both. And I said, there's no hot fudge. He was like, no hot fudge. Why? Why? And I said, there's no bananas either. He was like, what? And... I was like, I don't know why. He goes, but why? I said, oh, he did answer me. I did question it. And he said, they told me they didn't have any. He goes, I'm calling up Uber and I want a credit. And I was like, I don't blame you at all. I just didn't want you to be shocked. He, the, the moment I handed over the bag, he looked at me like something's amiss. And then he said, I really do appreciate you telling me that. Thank you. I said, it's clean. It's good quality, but it's missing products. They didn't, I guess they didn't have bananas either. You know, so I've witnessed that and I've been witnessing it at least for the past two years, more so than ever, picking up from Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin and Robbins. I'm not saying everyone. There are a handful of really great people who do want, who do care about their job, their position. But many of those jobs are beneath other people who demand great service. And you know what? These companies are going down because they can't find good help. They can't. Not many people want to do that job. I wasn't going to make this woman's night miserable. I was very kind to her. And she sensed it. But she couldn't communicate. But she was doing the best she can. But it, it's also not her fault. And we call all blame it on management. I say, go to the top. Whose business is this? They allowed that to happen. Remember, there's always someone hiring someone. Someone's got to be at the top. Their business is going to go down. Because I already know this man's not going to order from Baskin and Robin again. Baskin and Robbins. You know, you might as well make it at home. Or, now I'm going to go on the flip side. In my market, Carvel, always great service. I mean, I have, I've been picking up from Carvel since I started. It's a booming business, even in the winter. It's a great product. People pay top dollar for quality Sundays. That would never fly in a Carvel. And the service from the 16-year-olds to the 60-year-olds working at a Carvel. They're just in a higher grade, like when it comes to making sure there are staff representing their name. And I'm not sure if they're privately owned, like individually owned by people or whatever, but I've never, you know, like people buying a franchise and running it. I have never experienced a bad delivery pickup at a Carvel. It's always a step above and their product is good. So, but I see the downfall of the Baskin and Robin and, and Dunkin' Donuts. Because I, 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 that's a whole nother video about Dunkin' Donuts. It's just going down. They had their high moment. And they're, go, they're going to have to figure something else out. 
It's not just because to save their business model. It's not because only because people are cutting costs and treating themselves less. It also has a lot to do with the poor quality I just ex just explained to you and I've witnessed so many times that eventually eventually that will show on paper with the revenue declining. You know, it just you see it. You're you're in, I'm right there. I watched to make these and there was nothing I can do about it. And the kid got nasty with me when I questioned. They should have called the customer. They should have told them we have no bananas. We have no hot fudge. Now, now that now that trickles down to even Uber Eats will earn less money because now they're giving a credit. And I would believe that would double whammy the the basket and robins because that's going to trickle down. Why do we have to give that customer credit? Credit back. Like it's it just all because it started on the front line. You know, that's really bad. That trickles down. It's really bad. So I just witnessed that. And I I could tell already, you know, in my opinion, Baskin and Robbins and Dunkin' Donuts and my market, in my area, there's got to be a decline in revenue. Absolutely. Because you just watch it one too many times. And, and it's, I'm picking up less from those stores. And it's because people are ordering less. Because who wants to worry about if they're getting the right product, if it was made properly? Do I really have to call? It's not worth the aggravation if you got to call up for a credit. You might as well make it yourself or you know, order it from someplace else, you know? I feel their business is going down for all those reasons I just discussed.